Hi, fifth graders. Um, I said we're going to have a little bit of fun this week with something called a PSA. It's a public service announcement. And uh, you're going to have the, the opportunity to make a poster or a video. It's going to be your choice as a public service announcement. Now, what I did is I, I put, um, I think three videos in today's, uh, today's folder and two in tomorrow, examples of public service announcements. So what is a public service announcement? Um, what do you want the world to know? That's the central question asked when you're creating a public service announcement or what's called it, what is called a PSA, which is any message promoting programs, activities, or services. What you're going to be promoting this week, you're going to be promoting water conservation. You want people to conserve water. So you're creating a PSA, either a poster or a video. We're going to upload one of the two at the end of the week. So again, a public service announcement. What do you want people to know? What do you want people to do? Your a public service announcement is typically something that is hopefully going to make life better for many people. So here's option one. Option one, you can make a poster. So you can make the poster, a public service announcement poster. What must it include? It must include a main message on your poster. Example, it is important to conserve water. What you must also include are some things from the last couple of weeks. Your saltwater versus freshwater pie graph. I put an example in the folder today. You can also find it either in your notebook or maybe on a digital notebook. Um, your freshwater sources pie graph. Again, I put an example in the folder today. You've also created that, I believe, on your digital notebook or in your regular notebook. You must include words or pictures that show what we can do to conserve water. I suggest you use the data from the water footprint chart. Remember the water footprint? That was the, the chart that you filled out based on your daily activities, such as getting drinks, um, washing your hands, et cetera. And then we also had the, the food water footprint chart. You can include information from that. That involves the virtual water footprint, um, all the water that goes into making the things that end up on your dinner table each day. If you've completed a digital notebook last week, you can look back in your Google Drive to find all of this information. Uh, if you put it in your notebook, you can use that as well. Again, I've included some examples uh, that should be helpful in the folder today. Option two, you can make a video. So what you must include here, basically the same thing. What is your main message? Your example, it is important to conserve water. In this situation, you can explain the saltwater versus freshwater pie chart. Example is in the folder today. You're also going to explain the freshwater sources pie chart, which is in the folder today. You're going to explain what we can do to conserve water. So when you're making the video, you wanna to try to convince people to conserve water, to not waste water. So, Explain what we can do to conserve it. I suggest you use data from the water footprint charts from last week. If you completed the digital notebook last week, you can look back in your Google Drive to find the information. So again, use your water footprints chart. That would be very helpful. Use information and explain your freshwater sources chart. Remember, not a lot of fresh water on earth. And from that, we have a few sources and a lot of it again is locked up in glaciers, ice and ice pack or snow pack. So this is what you must do for your video, right? So what, what are you going to do today? Here's what you can do today. If you're making the public service announcement poster, you can make a rough draft of the poster in your science notebook. I've added a poster expectation page to today's folder. So look at the expectations, make sure it includes everything. This is just a rough draft of the poster today. 
If you're making the public service announcement video, what can you do today? You're, you may write a script for your public service announcement. All right, don't just try to wing it. Write a script, write down the words that you wanna say. And so you can practice it over and over and get ready for it, ready to complete the, uh, this task. I've added a video expectation page to today's folder. Looking ahead, you will have two days, tomorrow and the next day, and the next school day, to uh, create your video or poster. In other words, I don't want you to throw the poster together in 10 minutes. It should include everything that I've asked you to include. If it's a poster and you're trying to convince people of something, you're providing a public service, right? You're trying to convince people to, to act, to do something, to help uh, society, in this case, conserve water, uh, you want it to be uh, you want it to be a pretty good looking poster. So people look at it and people will want to read it and people will understand the message. So start working. I say start working on your final copy of your poster today. You will have today and tomorrow to complete it. That's plenty of time. So also, if you're making the video, you maybe have a uh, you, you try it a couple of times. So today you might try, might not be the best one. You might lock out. Maybe you hit it on the first video. In other words, you've created it and it is awesome. Then, wow, you might be finished. But I suspect it will take a few tries to get it right. And then, of course, Thursday, or if you're doing this on the Thursday, if you're doing this uh, synchronously, um, upload your video or poster to the post in the Thursday folder of your science course. Your classmates will definitely want to enjoy your creation. They'll have a chance to see your post, whether it's a video or a poster. So good luck. Have a little fun with this. Don't forget get to use the information from last week's learning, from what we learned last week and what we just learned yesterday to create your public service announcement. All right. Again, you want people to conserve water. You're trying to convince them to conserve water make an awesome poster, make an awesome video. So by the time we look at, after we look at your poster, after we look at your video, we will all have ideas for conserving water and we'll wanna do that. All right, good luck, enjoy. And again, I put a few examples from YouTube of uh, public service announcements and you're welcome to use some of the information from there as well, um, or the style of delivery, it's up to you. And good luck, and again, have fun.